Nickname? Oh, I get Croaks and I get Toots a lot because of my uncle. Favourite TV show? Oh, my favourite TV show. I can't go past The Simpsons, I don't think, and Oldie Boogie. Yeah. Oh, good. Love The Simpsons. Worst habit? I'm always on my phone. My missus hates I'm always on my phone, so that'll be up there. <laughs> favourite food? I can't go past the meat pie. I love meat pie. Don't tell anyone that, but I love meat pie. <laughs> what makes you angry? What doesn't make me angry? <laughs> God, I don't know. A drop ball on a football field makes me angry. Golden point, golden try, or draw? Has to be golden try. Comedy or horror film? Comedy, I hate horror. I've never watched <laughs> horror in my life. All right, so you're from Crookwell, which is a, a small town of around 3,000 people. It's half an hour away from Golden. Uh, you played your junior footy for the Crookwell Green Devils. Devils. Yeah. Yep. And your uncle is Jason Croker. Now, to me, that spells Green Machine all over it. Yeah. Um, to grow up near Canberra and having your uncle as a Canberra legend, um, how did it make you feel when you, you made your NRL debut for the Canberra Raiders? Yeah, obviously it was very special, not only to myself but my family. Um, it means a lot to my family. Of, we've grown up with it our whole life. Um, and to have my uncle there and especially my dad present my jersey was um, obviously it's a massive dream come true and it's something that every young footballer aspires to do and we're very lucky to be able to do what we do and to have that, um, that day and that week leading up to that day was incredible for not only myself but my family too. Did you always look up to Jason as a kid growing up? Oh, not necessarily. Um, he's always been a real tough, they're a tough family, him, him and his brothers. Um, not only physically but mentally, they do a lot of hard work and it's just the way back home I guess. But um, to be as tough as he was would, is up there for me in, um, yeah, in the, way, the way that I like to play. But other than that, not really. He, he was sort of just the uncle back home and obviously everyone knew he was different and special but I think that was the way he wanted it and that's just the way it was that he was just another one of us. The maturity you show at your rage is uh, one of the reasons why Ricky picked you for first grade. Um, a lot of the senior players in the squad have given you a lot of uh, support. You must get a lot of confidence out of that, knowing that these senior players have a lot of confidence in your ability. Yeah, for sure. The, um, my biggest fear during my first game was just to not to, not to let, let the guys down that work so hard during the pre-season and, and to know that they trusted me playing and fulfilling such an important spot was, is, was comforting. It was really comforting. And, and even though I've been, I've been playing the Mounties, I've still had their support. And, and just the feeling that they know that I'm capable of it is, is very special because they've been there for years and they know what they're doing and it's a good feeling, it's a good feeling. You had some injuries holding you back at times. Were there moments where you thought of giving up or did that give you added motivation? Oh, it's, that's a good question. Um, when I, I, I subluxed my shoulder in that round two game against the Roosters um, and I thought I was done. I thought that was my year again because it was the same sort of thing that happened last time. Um, and it's really scary to, I'm, I'm only 19 and I've had my fair share of injuries and I've only played sort of 19 games the previous two years. And it was scary, it was really scary. And I said before that um, Raiders re-signed me after I did my, my shoulder. And that sort of broke up the, oh no, what's gonna happen now to, I'm safe. Um, and that was one of the big parts of me staying, staying confident and motivated to know that I'm I'm not that far off and they're happy to keep me around. So I know that I just need to get myself right and, and fingers crossed things flow from there. Do you do anything outside of footy or do you just uh, just relax and chill out? Yeah, I chill out, I don't, I don't do a lot. I love playing my Xbox. <laughs> so whether I'm, if I'm not playing footy, I'm at home playing that. Um, what do you play, FIFA? No, I play um, God. I'm not a FIFA man. Oh, I love yeah. God. Yeah, so I... <laughs> I could sit there all day if I had to and I love when my missus goes to work because I'm not allowed to play it when she's at home but <laughs> I sit there and I could play that all day so that'd be... That'd Are you be on the uh, Black Ops 3? I am. Yes, <laughs> so am I, I love it. <laughs> Have you got any hidden talents? No, honestly I don't. I played a bit of cricket when I was younger but that's not a hidden talent. I don't have anything. If I couldn't play football I'd be in trouble. What's your most embarrassing moment? I, can't, I forgot my missus birthday, that was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> you can't do that. Not more scary than embarrassing, but it was, it was pretty embarrassing. I'm, yeah, I'm sure there'd be others, but I can't think of any at the moment. Weirdest thing that happened to you on the field? Oh, I, was, I remember playing local back home, um, and I needed some deep heat on my calf, on my um, hamstring and my groin. And obviously deep heat's not supposed to be around that area, and I got... Um, a little bit too close and personal with the DP, and 
I, um, I remember the trainer running out and I said, oh, mate, I'm in trouble here, I, I need some water, I need something. And he was just spraying water down my pants and that was probably the weirdest thing that's happened to me. Where do you want to be in 10 years time? Oh, I don't know, I honestly don't know. I think it's, it's a ride that I'm looking forward to. Hopefully still playing footy is my first, my first wish. Um, like I said before, we're lucky to do what we do and, and go to different places and, and see different people and play with new people and meet new people. But in 10 years' time, honestly, I don't know where I can be. Same as any of the boys, we could be anywhere. And growing up in a small town, I haven't really left anywhere, I haven't been anywhere, so to be somewhere else is exciting and to see the people I'm around is exciting too.